lender credits. So lender credits can change, but not every instance allows them to change. So let me give you an example. If you put down a lender credit for $500 on the loan estimate, and it's because you were going to pay for the $500 appraisal charge, and the appraisal comes in at $300, you don't get to knock your lender credit down to $300. You're going to give them $500. And so that's the uh, the consequence that comes with playing the lender credit game. If you're going to give one for a particular fee and the fee comes in less, you still have to give what you told them. And so sometimes, like in this particular example, the borrower just made $200 off you. You can't lower the lender credit in that example. But an example where you could is, let's say your lender credit is tied to the interest rate and the borrower has locked the interest rate. And then the rate lock expires. Well, then the lender credit also expires and can change. So if the lender credit is tied to the rate and the rate's locked or not locked yet, the lender credit can fluctuate. So it can fluctuate until it's locked. And then when it's locked and it expires, then it can fluctuate again, meaning it could go down, it could go up too. 